Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today we are going to run some errands solo. I have a little bit of time to myself and I figured I'd bring you guys with me. We have quite a few things to do. First thing I need to do is get a SD card for my camera. I wanna look for a new cutting board because someone put my cutting board in the dishwasher and it broke. So we're just getting a new one. I'm gonna go to Crate and Barrel and see what they have in store. And then there's also a world market over in the area where I'm going. So I'll go in there too. What else? I need to go to Sephora and get a new thing of facial cleanser, my youth to the people. And that's it. But first we're gonna stop and grab an iced coffee. So I wanna do that because I wanna try the new dairy-free cold foam that Starbucks just launched. So we'll try that. And yeah, so I'm back. We're talking today. Thank you guys so much for supporting my silent vlog. I'm so happy you all are enjoying that. I will continue to do more because I really do enjoy doing silent vlogs. All right guys, so I got my SD card that I needed to get from Best Buy. I'm trying to get a little bit more organized with my content. So I needed this SD card to switch out for this vlog so that, you know, it will be all good. Why am I putting these back on my head? So now I'm here at Crate and Barrel, but I need to go in Sephora too because I need to get facial cleanser. So, do I want to go in Crate and Barrel first? Do I want to spend that much on a cutting board? I don't know. We'll see. So we're gonna go in Crate and Barrel. We're gonna go in Sephora. I might go into World Market too because I think they have like kitchen stuff too. And where else? Oh, I want to go to Whole Foods and get some peaches because I saw the queen ship. She made this super delicious looking <laughs> yogurt dessert that is totally up my alley um, where she took like a frozen peach and some yogurt and she grated the frozen peach over the yogurt. Oh, looked so good so i want to make that for dessert because um, for dinner we're having seafood pk got shrimp scallops we're gonna do wild rice mushroom and yeah so that's what we're doing for dinner and i thought that would be a really yummy dessert. I'm probably the only one that will probably eat it because PK doesn't eat peaches. P uh, PJ might eat some, to be honest, but PK doesn't eat peaches. Sefton's not big on like Greek yogurt, so I don't know if he would try it, but yeah, so that's it. I am just, you know, enjoying my little me time all to myself, running my errands solo. I did stop at Starbucks because I wanted to try the new non-dairy uh, creamers that they have. So I got a tall non-dairy salted caramel cold brew with sugar-free vanilla and no added vanilla syrup. So, so that's what I got. And where's my straw? I asked, oh. So I tasted it a little bit, it's good. Um, but I had saw 
I follow them on Instagram and I saw that they have a, a dairy free option now for the cold foam. So I was like, oh, I want to try that. Yeah, it's it's good. I'm glad I got a tall because that's all I needed. I've already had two coffees today. So, yeah. But let me go. Let's run in these stores, see what we can find. And, um, yeah, head on to our next destination. So, let's go. All right, guys so world market was a success i did find a really nice board and it was half off i didn't know it was half off i was excited about it being 19.99 and i got to the register and the girl was like are you a member and i was like yeah she was like oh okay it'll be 1108 i was like "Ooh, so love this i love this shape it's really nice different and i think it's unique so i got that I'm excited about that and sephora I was literally in there for like two minutes because I knew exactly what I wanted and I didn't want to get sucked in with all this stuff even though I got sucked in with this power mist hand sanitizer but you always need hand sanitizer right so I got the vanilla blossom I've never had that one before and they had a sample and I tried it and it smelled really good just got my facial cleanser and then there was a youth to the people rep in there and she was giving away little moisture samples so she gave me a little sample of the air whip moisture cream which I've had before so I'll just add this to my travel toiletry bag because it's a little mini and now we're at Whole Foods I'm about to run in here get my peaches and yogurt and then we'll head home and cook dinner all right
right guys so we just got back in took the boys for a nice little walk and everyone is kind of just chilling out right now got a package in so cordless vacuum cleaner from Ultinic. So this is the one that we currently have. They sent me the newly released one that's the U16 Flex vacuum cleaner. And I believe this one is supposed to, yes, have a more powerful suction. It has, hold on y'all. Hello. What? What happened? We're having 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. to keep up in the front entrance. The revolving door is going to be closed. I'm at home. Well, I'm like, what happened? What happened? I saw the, and down there talking when I was walking back in. Maybe that's what they were discussing. It don't surprise me because. Well, I don't like how the delivery folks. Yes. I know. But. I cannot, even for us, like when we get deliveries and stuff, I'm like, I'm fine coming yeah. down and getting it. You don't have to send yeah. send nobody up here. Such a risk. It's yeah. so risky. Okay, well, I guess I better go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. all right so i'm back sorry about that they made some changes in our building so yeah this one the wand extends further so you can like really get up in corners if you have high ceilings which is nice and it's flexible so you can get under like the sofa your bed tables chairs so i'm excited about this i'm obviously going to keep my other one but i think i'm going to just store that one in our coat closet area use that for that area because with the dog I'm constantly having to like vacuum that area just because he sheds a lot. So I think that one would be good to just keep up there. And then I can use this one for the rest of the house. So yeah. it gave me two in my So okay, yeah. So this is the flex part that's gonna come in handy if anything like this one is super easy to assemble so it shouldn't take you long so here is the bottom part of the base then you have the attachments which is nice because i use those a lot for like the sofa um you have a hepa filter which is also really nice oh i think this is the mount because you can mount it to the wall and charge it which i never did with this one i need to but it's so hard to find a space to mount it but yeah i'll figure it out and then here is the main this attachment oh so this oh, this is nice so okay so I like this because the attachment for the brush is already attached to it. It's separate on this one, so that is a huge upgrade. So now you can just remove this and you have the brush just slides out like that. Squeeze it here, slide it out, and now you have a brush. <laughs> Squeeze it here, yeah, and then you just put it back. That is so nice. I like that, okay. I'm gonna connect this here. This here. This here. Being a little copycat. This is not. Okay.
Okay, love that. I will leave this linked below in the mm -hmm. description box for you guys. I don't know if they sent me a discount code, but if they do, I'll leave it down below as well. But if you're looking for a new, really nice, affordable vacuum cleaner that's cordless, that is key. I have not used our Dyson vacuum cleaner since I got the first Ultinic cordless. Like, it's such a game changer. I love it. I love not having to fuss with the cord and all that. It's just, it's just so much easier. So, that's my new little gadget. Um, let me go get this stuff cleaned up, and then I'll come back and show you guys the other package that I got. So I got a package from Merit and they sent me their new brow kit, which I'm excited about. This and I should just wind it like that. Very nice. This is a brow pomade. And let's see. I love this packaging. It's so nice. So luxurious. So, yeah, this is brown black. So, this is brown black. And I'm assuming this is brown black too because it came in a set. So, it is what this is too. So, so yeah, maybe we'll test this out tomorrow. So, yeah, that's what I got today now i am going to just chill out for a little bit and see what my little monsters want to do maybe do the pool i don't know we'll see all right so yeah that's all i got going on right now we're just gonna relax do lunch and then see what we get into later but uh, yeah i'm gonna go and i'll check back in with you guys in a little bit all right guys I'm back from the nail salon I decided to get French this time so I just got a manicure and um, gel French polish now I'm getting ready to fix me a little snack because I'm obsessed with the frozen shaved peach dessert that I shared with you guys now I didn't come back and give you a report on it it's so good well I noticed the queen ship she uses like a sweet cream she makes her own like whipped cream i am using greek yogurt because i i'm trying to keep the sugar to a minimum i bought some plain greek yogurt and then i shaved the peaches over the greek yogurt sprinkled it with some pistachios and then drizzled honey on top it's so Good. it's like the perfect summer dessert so that's what I'm getting ready to make some Greek plain got my peach here I just put it in a ziploc bag and put it in the freezer and then got pistachios and honey and that's it it's really simple and easy to make and I don't make a lot of it I just use these little small dessert bowls and I do about two and a half spoonfuls of Greek yogurt and that's it. This is 100 calories for three fourths cup. So I use about three fourths of a cup of this, but a spoon. And if y'all hear somebody crunching in the background, that's Seth eating some cereal. And 
and I'll link her recipe down below or I'll try to find her reel that she did and link it for you guys but so here's the little grater that I used Let's see. bring you guys down so y'all can see what I'm doing here okay and I'm gonna try to leave this in this bag because this peach gets really cold and it's like freezes my hands but You want some? Yeah. And you can do as much or as little peach as you want, but I like a lot, so I'm going to do a lot. <laughs> and I just have the peach. Mm. Okay. So... So I did about that much. Okay, now we're going to take the pistachios, crush them up if you want, but I'm just gonna put them out here whole because I'm just being lazy right now. And my battery's about to die. And then you just drizzle your honey on top. So good. And yeah, it's not the prettiest, but it tastes really good. And that's all that matters, right? I should take a picture for Instagram. So good. I think if you want it to be sweet, sweet, I would do like a cool whip or um, like a whipped cream topping type thing and do the frozen peaches and nuts on top. I think that would be really, really good. It probably would taste more like ice cream if you did it that way. Maybe I'll try it like that next time, but it's so good. The perfect combination of sweet and savory because the yogurt is plain. The pistachios have like a little salt, honey that's super sweet. Peaches are sweet and cold. It's so good, y'all. I'm gonna finish eating now. And I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit. Uh, and then, uh, white. It's mid. It's mid. It's okay. But I won't bite. I don't know what that is, but like, it's like a orange fruit. It's citrus. I don't like that. Okay. So, next. Just flip the top. Nope, just flip it. What's that? Oh! You like it? 